Hello, welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth, everybody. It's Rod with Power Group. It is Tuesday, August 24th, and in this video, we're going to be discussing BlackBerry Limited, so ticker symbol BB on the NYSE. All prices mentioned in this video will be in US dollars, so we're going to be discussing the weekly bounce getting underway on the BlackBerry stock, and stock was up over 12% today, so first and foremost, congrats to the bulls. But before we jump in, make sure to smash like and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna do some deep dive analysis here on BlackBerry here in just a moment. I also want to highlight that GME, AMC, and SNDL were running, so the heavily shorted names were all running together today, and uh, we'll discuss BlackBerry's upcoming earnings and a bullish Motley Fool article that could have potentially fueled this rally. So we'll start off with the Motley Fool article, and I also did a video a couple of weeks ago, if you recall, that we could be seeing a bullish move on the BlackBerry stock, and I think that move is happening now with the stock up about 20% from that call out and the daily double bottom. So again, we'll look at that here on the chart in just a moment and how we could have seen potential clues of this move coming. So top five growth stocks to buy in August 2021. And you can see here that they mentioned BlackBerry stock. So they're bullish on the IVY platform and the QNX platform and uh, how that provides real-time vehicle data analytics to help auto-related companies from automakers, from electric charging stations to insurance companies. And BlackBerry stock has come to a buy point. If BlackBerry is successful, and taps its addressable market, it could be the next turnaround story. So moving on, BlackBerry earnings set for September 22nd, which is the tentative date. We'll wanna see official confirmation though from BlackBerry, but the analysts forecasts for the EPS are coming in at negative 0.0951 and revenue forecasts just over 200 million, which is slightly down from uh, from last quarter's estimates at 213 million. So they're, they are expecting a little bit of a drop off there. So taking a look, GME was the leader today, up over 35%. AMC was up over 33%. BlackBerry coming in third, up over 12%. And then SNDL was also up over 8% today as well. I mean, increasing full volume. BlackBerry had a decent amount of volume. So did AMC, GME. GME is getting daily oversold, or overbought rather. AMC not yet daily overbought. BlackBerry on the daily time frame still a long ways to go as well. And SNDL a long ways to go. So. At this point, we did have some upper wicks there forming on GME and AMC, so there's a potential for a daily inside bar and tightening range. Pretty much on all of our names, even BlackBerry had a little bit of an upper wick there as well. And BlackBerry closed the day up just under 10%, so we'll wanna see increasing bull volume tomorrow, but we are getting extended here on the hourly time frame as well, so wouldn't be surprised if we saw at least an hourly pullback tomorrow for an hourly higher low, somewhere around the 1050 area, and a test of EMA 12. But we'll look at the signals that we could have potentially saw this move coming. Taking a look at the weekly time frame, we had a golden cross on the weekly time frame with the 50 weekly moving average crossing through the longer term 200 weekly moving average. Also held that 200 weekly moving average as well from that pullback from the high up at 28.77. So that was bullish. And here we are still above the 50 and the 200. So expecting a big move. And like I said, we had the weekly bounce getting underway and we've been pulling back since that 20, since that $20, uh, that ripped to $20, we've been pulling back for 83 days on the weekly time frame. So 12 weeks in a row, and we finally broke the high of the previous weekly candle, and we have a lack of resistance all the way up until 2017. So if we look at the daily chart, another potential clue that we had here was this double bottom here at 966. We also had this falling wedge pattern that broke out bullish, but we ended up getting a little bit of a fake out to the downside ended up holding there. We lost the low of 966 by two pennies, so essentially a double bottom. And I even mentioned that in the video that I did a couple weeks ago, I mentioned that to private group, uh, to private members and power group, that nice entry there looking for a potential double bottom. And if you would have just entered, we even had another opportunity here at 982, you could have risked about 20 cents or so and playing off that 964 bottom, bottom fishing that support. And even from that level, you could have made from that about 15%. So if you entered on that double bottom, you're up about 20%. And if you entered off of that 982 daily higher low and consolidation with a stop below 964 double bottom, you'd be up about 15%. So going to be targeting the point, the uh, 0.236 Fibonacci and then also the 0.32. And like I said, we do have a lack of resistance here on the daily. We have a lack of resistance on the weekly. I could see a potential push up to about the 1275 area. 1250, 1275. We also have the weekly VWAP there at 1290. So on the daily time frame, you can see here we did close over 1109, which is the 50-day moving average. We've been floating below it here since we lost it in the middle of July. 
And then here we are looking to close above it. We closed above it by one penny, but we'll wanna see another day close above it tomorrow. We broke above it today, but then we pulled back and closed right at resistance. So wouldn't be surprised if we saw a little bit of a pullback, like I said, tomorrow and a daily inside bar and tightening range. But we were also rejecting at the EMAs. So we had that falling wedge, which is generally a bullish uh, bear exhaustion and you could see a bullish reversal. And then we also had the EMAs, which had been rejecting the price. And we also managed to close above that today on the daily time frame, and still a ways to go before daily overbought. So if we did just go straight to daily overbought from here, we could likely be targeting the uh, the 1250 area to $13 on BlackBerry. Like I said, all prices mentioned in US dollars, but like I said, on the weekly time frame, weekly lack of resistance up till $20.17, it's looking good. If we can see a weekly close over 1073, that would be the first time we've closed over the 10 week moving average since we lost it back here like I said, at the beginning of July, the middle of July, Stochastic trying to set up for a bull cross here at the moment, and the MACD just behind it as well, looking for a potential curl. So we we'll wanna see both of those indicators cross bullish into the end of the week, and then ultimately see a weekly close over 1073 to expect more upside into next week. So let me know in the comments below, do you think we are going to see a daily inside bar and tightening range into tomorrow? Do you think we're going to see a green day and break the high of the day today, tomorrow and continue the, the daily bounce? Or do you think we're going to potentially see daily consolidation? Personally, I think we're going to see a daily inside bar and tightening range based on the close on GME, AMC, a little bit of a bearish close. And if we see BlackBerry correlate to the rest of the short squeeze pack, essentially, then we could see it pull back as well. Like I said, maybe even pull back to the 10 50 area and form an hourly higher low. All right, thanks for joining us on the Pursuit of Wealth for a BlackBerry update video, and we'll see you in the next one.